The ruling has sparked reaction from central Pennsylvania groups on both sides of the issue and politicians heading into contentious elections this fall. Fox 43's Harry Lee joins us now live from Harrisburg with reaction from state groups and political candidates. Harry. Well, first, it's important to remember that abortion services are still legal in Pennsylvania, but whether that remains the case come November is now up to voters. The decision to overturn Roe v. Wade raises the stakes for the upcoming governor's race that's quickly becoming a referendum on abortion rights in Pennsylvania. A very important election anyway, but this ruling makes that election even more important because whoever sits at this desk uh, is the, the, the one who's going to determine uh, whether Pennsylvanians can continue to count on the right to make, a make their own decision. Republican candidate Doug Mastriano has previously introduced a six-week abortion ban bill and said he would sign a heartbeat bill as governor. Democratic candidate Josh Shapiro supports abortion rights. We need to protect our fundamental freedoms. And that is something we will do. Abortion rights advocates say the ruling came as a crushing disappointment, but that they'll continue fighting to keep the procedure legal. We plan to channel all of our outrage and emotions into action, just like the many generations before us have. We will take that energy to Harrisburg, to the streets, and to the ballot box. Anti-abortion rights groups celebrated the ruling and say they'll also keep pushing to end abortion in Pennsylvania. The sanctity of life is on the line and that we have an opportunity to make new advancements to protect women, to protect unborn children. And so that's something that we should be focused on in all areas. Senate Republicans have introduced a constitutional amendment that would declare there is no right to abortion in Pennsylvania and that the state can't use taxpayer money to fund them. Now, Pennsylvania Planned Parenthood providers say they're preparing for an influx of patients from neighboring states that could outlaw abortion within the next few months. That includes Ohio and West Virginia. Live in Harrisburg, Harry Lee, Fox 43 News.